Hello, welcome to today's lesson. Welcome to today's lesson on thermal energy. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to illustrate that when two bodies are in contact, heat flows from hot to the cold body. Name the methods of heat transfer. Explain heat conduction and its applications. Explain heat convection and state two of its application. And lastly, explain heat radiation and state two of its application. Now, let's get started. Heat transfer is the movement of heat from one region to another in an object or body. It usually involves movement of molecules from a region of a higher temperature to that of a lower temperature. There are three main methods of heat transfer. Do you know any? They are conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction involves the transfer of heat from one part of the body to another in the absence of any mineral, in the absence of any material flow. This simply means that in conduction, heat energy is transferred from the hotter part of the body to the colder part of that body through particle collision. Imagine this scenario. Miss Debola made herself a hot cup of tea, adding some cubes of sugar, stirred it with a metallic spoon, and left it for some minutes. When she came back to get her tea, the metallic spoon that wasn't hot before she left it is now hot. Do you know why? If you said conduction, then you're right, because heat was transferred from the hot tea to the cold metallic spoon in a matter of minutes. Other applications of conduction include cooling a glass in an ice bucket, holding an iron nail in a flame, holding the handle of a hot pan. Now, the second method of heat transfer is convection. Convection is the process of heat transfer by the actual movement of particles from a region of high temperature to a region of low temperature. Unlike conduction, convection usually takes place in liquids and gases where the fluid flows from a high temperature location to a low temperature location. Application of convection include boiling water, the rising of a hot air balloon, presence of warm water on a surface of a lake and cold water at the bottom of the same lake, an air conditioner that cools a room. The third and final method of heat transfer we are discussing in our lesson today is radiation. That's right. Radiation is the transfer of heat by means of electromagnetic waves. Application of radiation include the heat of the sun on the earth, feeling warm when you sit in sunlight, a pan or pot on top of a burner, etc., etc. With this, we've come to the end of the lesson. Today, we learned about the three main methods of heat transfer. We have also seen some application of conduction, convection, and radiation in everyday life. Thank you and see you in the next lesson.